The aquatic ape theory is a captivating and somewhat controversial hypothesis that presents a unique perspective on the evolution of humans. Proposed by British marine biologist Alistair Hardy in 1960 and later popularized by Elaine Morgan, this theory suggests that our distant ancestors went through a semi-aquatic phase that played a significant role in shaping our physical characteristics and behaviors. Imagine a world where our early hominid ancestors ventured into aquatic environments, such as lakes, rivers, and coastal regions. According to the aquatic ape theory, these ancestral primates might have relied on aquatic resources for food and faced selective pressures that led to specific adaptations. One of the most intriguing adaptations proposed by the theory is the development of bipedalism. It suggests that wading in water might have led to an upright posture as it would have been more efficient for moving through shallow waters while keeping their heads above the surface to breathe. This, in turn, could have paved the way for the evolution of bipedalism on land. Additionally, proponents of the aquatic ape theory point to several other potential aquatic adaptations in humans. Hairlessness. Unlike most primates, humans are virtually hairless, this is thought to be an adaptation for better thermoregulation while in water, as excessive hair could slow down swimming and create buoyancy issues. Subcutaneous fat. Humans have a relatively thick layer of subcutaneous fat, which can aid in buoyancy and insulation in aquatic environments. Control of breath. The ability to hold one's breath for extended periods could have been useful for diving and swimming underwater in search of food. Webbed fingers and toes. Some proponents suggest that slight webbing between fingers and toes might be vestiges of a past aquatic phase. Cooling mechanisms. Sweating and the distribution of sweat glands on the skin could be adaptations for thermoregulation during and after swimming. It's important to note that while the aquatic ape theory presents a fascinating perspective, it remains controversial within the scientific community. Critics argue that there is insufficient fossil evidence to support the theory and that alternative explanations can account for the observed human adaptations. Furthermore, some of the proposed adaptations can also be attributed to other factors, such as changes in climate and habitat. In summary, the aquatic ape theory presents a captivating narrative of our evolutionary journey, suggesting that our ancestors' interactions with aquatic environments played a pivotal role in shaping our unique characteristics. However, it's essential to consider this theory within the context of broader evolutionary research and ongoing scientific discussions. Neo-Darwinism, which combines Darwin's theory of natural selection with modern genetics, is the most accepted synthesis for understanding human evolution. It provides a strong scientific basis and is supported by a vast body of evidence from various fields, making it the prevailing theory in evolutionary biology. Interested in learning more about our common history? Here's a video about Neo-Darwinism.